visited Dr. Kevorkian the other day. <laughs> and uh, he said, how are you? And I went, fine, fine. I feel great. I feel terrific. I don't know, to me, you look kind of pale. No, I feel fantastic. <laughs> Would you like to sit down? No, I'm standing. I'm standing. I'm gonna dance in a minute. <laughs> Would you like something to eat? You look like you're getting thin. No, no, I'm gaining weight. It's true. The other day I was in a restaurant and uh, I said, I want a cup of coffee. And the waiter said, how do you like your coffee? And I said, I like my coffee the way I like my women. Hot and black with a small piece of prone danish. <laughs> Yesterday, I was having dinner with Charles Manson. <laughs> and in the middle of dinner, he turned to me and said, is it hot in here or am I crazy? Charles Manson killed a house full of people because of a Beatles song that no one knows the words to. <laughs> you figure if you're gonna go through the trouble of killing that many people, pick a hit song. <laughs> he picks the one bomb that the Beatles had. He picks Helter Skelter. You figure you're gonna kill that many people, you could pick Yellow Submarine, <laughs> I Wanna Hold Your Hand, something that people immediately know. That way you say, I killed them because of this. And they say, oh, that was a good song. <laughs> Instead, he picks Helter Skelter. So he, he breaks into the house, kills all those people. He gets arrested. The judge goes, why did you kill all those people? He goes, because of the lyrics to Helter Skelter. And the entire courtroom looks at him and goes, what album is that on? <laughs> and he's not this way. He's going, I don't know, Abbey Road. No, I have that at home. It's not on there. <laughs> and the judge is like, why couldn't you pick a hit song? You might as well pick something by Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Helter Skelter? Pick something by Barry Manilow. <laughs> then you'll have a reason to kill someone. <laughs> You know, to think that for all these years, I could have had Julia Roberts. <laughs> I never tried to ask her out. I figured, what chance do I have? She's waiting for some incredibly good-looking guy to come along. <laughs> Boy, was I an idiot. The only thing that kept her single list long is every other guy looked too human. <laughs> I should have made a pass at her. What's the worst thing she could have said? Gee, I'm sorry, you're a nice guy, but you have a normal shaped head. <laughs> could you go outside and get hit by a bus and ask me again? <laughs> Maybe you can fall asleep lying there with your head inside the doorway of an elevator. <laughs> Just lie there the whole night with the door going like that. <laughs> then when your head has no real shape to it, then give me a call. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld as Hamlet. To be or not to be. I don't know if I'm supposed to be or not. Who are these people who be? Jackie Gleason in Casablanca.
plane with Vic Laszlo. <laughs> oh, you're getting on that plane, all right? And I know that you know that I know that you're getting on that plane. But if you don't, you're gonna regret it. Maybe not today, and maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. Good night. Why let the commercial break interrupt?